What's going on everyone? Welcome to another streaming tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use media source in Streamlabs desktop. Now this is what I have created in DaVinci Resolve where I have two clips together and I rendered them that way I can show multiple videos inside of the media source because with the media source when you do local you can only have one video at a time unless you make multiple media sources and then just select those other media sources either manually or setting a hotkey or you can just make it easier and just have them kind of transition uh, throughout the entire duration of the video that way it's all as one so I'm gonna go ahead and just hide this one and we're gonna create a new one so we're gonna go over here to the plus in your sources and you're gonna look for media source so these are all of the things that will be supported for your media source so do keep an uh, do keep an eye on which way you're going to be rendering your files so then you're gonna go add source if you already have an existing one just go down here to add new source instead and we'll give it a name and you'll see something like this now if you see something like this, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know how any of this works when it comes to this part of it. And I've tried looking it up and I can't find anything about it, so I'm not going to tell you anything that I don't know. So go to local file. This is going to allow you to pull the video file from your computer. So you're going to click on browse and I have it right here. And then you're going to see the preview here and you should see it behind as well. So if you're wanting it to continuously play throughout, as you can see it had stopped, you're going to want to click on loop. And that is going to just continuously play it over and over. Having it where it restarts the playback when the source becomes active. So if you go from one scene to another, it will then replay when you go back to the scene that it's attached to. You can use hardware decoding when available if you would like and then show nothing when the playback ends is also another option for you as well and you can close the file when it's inactive. You can adjust the speed of it if you want it to go faster or slower and then for color range you can leave it on auto if you like how it looks or you can just go to partial and then full will make things a little bit darker. I personally don't see much of a difference between either so I usually leave it on partial or full or sorry partial or auto and then once you have that that is it that is your that is your media source but yeah that is everything that I have about media source if you want to add any more information go ahead and add it in the comment section below that way everybody can learn but if you found today's video helpful give it a thumbs up click the bell icon when you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next one take care